In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to get perfect color every time without any guesswork. Now here I have a portrait. I really don't have any way of knowing for sure if my color is perfect on this because the, the lady's not here and I just, I don't remember what her skin tone was. But fortunately for me, when I photographed this, I took the time to do the first shot with a color reference. I'm going to take my magnifying glass tool from the bottom of the toolbox and zoom in on this a little bit so we can see it more clearly. What this is, is a color reference. I know for a fact that this area is black, this area is white, and this is a neutral gray. So if I calibrate everything so that these are all numerically correct, everything else in the photograph is going to be perfect as well. So here's how it works. I've got this photograph and the conditions were the same in this photo and the one that I want to correct. I didn't change any settings on the camera, I didn't move the lights around, everything stayed the same. So the settings that are correct for this photo will work for the other one as well. Well I'm going to go over here to my adjustments panel and click on the curves adjustment button. And over here in the curves there are a series of three eyedroppers. I'm going to start with the black one and click on the black part of the image or the color target rather. Then I'm going to click on the middle one, click on the midtone, and finally click on the white one, click on the white part of the sample. So now this image is numerically perfect. I've clicked on the parts that are black, white, and neutral, and it made it so, so everything else in the picture is going to be correct as well. Now, I've got an adjustment layer over here in my layers panel that makes this correct. So we went from this washed out version to this perfect version. So I'm going to grab the tab for this layer, drag this over to the side a little bit, so that I can take this adjustment layer and drag it on top of this other picture. Well now that one's perfect too. As long as you don't change the settings on your camera, you can use a color reference to make everything perfect. So give it a try next time you're working in the studio and I think you'll agree with me that it gives you perfect results every time. 